Hmm. What is this? An interrogation? There are quite a few people here. Do they think they are safer in numbers? Although, this atmosphere seems rather tame for an interrogation. Good morning, Mr. Collins. How are you feeling? As you can see, I'm fine. Thank you for saving us yesterday. I know you didn't call me here just to say thank you. Just get to the point. This might be too much for us to ask of you. But would you mind letting my group tag along with you? Why do you want to do that? You do remember what happened yesterday, right? That's exactly why. Flesh-eating monsters have become a reality. It's not that hard to accept that people too would develop superpowers. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to leave that mall alive. From the beginning, my group had already wanted to tag along with you. If anything else, what happened yesterday only further proved that Mana was right all along. You're strong. We'd have a better chance traveling with you. This house is safe for now, but who knows for exactly how long. We don't want to sit around waiting to be rescued. Rescue might never come. I'll ask again. Are you sure? If you think we're crazy asking to team up with a murderer, that asshole did try to kill a child. While I agree with you, a person's life still shouldn't be disregarded like that. Murder, no matter the reason, isn't right. Oh, come on, the world went to shit. Families are abandoning each other and you're sweating over that? The world going to shit does not justify dropping all of your morals like that. Say that to the next zombie that wants to chew your face off. Guys, that's not the point of this discussion. Yeah, that's not the point, Tia. Don't just repeat what Wynn's saying. I just want to make sure that the group that I'm a part of has at least some sort of moral standard. You know she has a point. I killed my own brother in cold blood. You aren't afraid I'll do the same thing to you? If you wanted to kill us, you could have just left us in the mall. How surprising. I thought that Theo would have been the most against what I've done. I heard your destination is Koksu. My brother and I are from Koksu's military base. If you help us, we can help you get into there. Okay, now we're talking. Koksu is dangerous, but there's also something in that military base that I want to get my hands on. Fine, we can travel together, but I can't guarantee a completely safe ride there. Don't expect too much from me. Thank you. We'll try not to trouble you too much. Until we get to Koksu, a big group will be fine. We'll part ways once we get there. Do we have any usable vehicles? We can't travel on foot in such a large group. We'll need some form of transportation. Hmm. We do have an RV in the back. Besides that, most other vehicles- A truck! There's a truck that we can use just a little off of Gilbert Road! And where did you get that information from? I saw it in my vision, of course. How come your visions know what we'll need with such good timing? Care to tell me how your power works again? Are you doubting me now? My power is a bit inconsistent. It's not like I can see whatever, whenever I want. It just comes to me, alright? All clairvoyants I've met said the same thing about their power. What an unreliable ability. Hmm? <gasps> Good morning, Neo. Excuse me. What happened between you two? I thought you guys got along. Teenagers are strange. That's the god along. Are you blind? Blind? How rude. I was worried that after last night, he wouldn't want to see me. But it seems just to be the same as usual. Are you looking for me? Is there something you need? Yes. Very important. Hale needs proper dog food. It's unhealthy to keep feeding him our leftovers. 